I went into the depths of Amazon, searching for the best RGB LED panel under $100. After doing tons of research, I bought 11 video lights. And today, they will be competing against each other in a series of challenges. All so that you can find out which one is the best video light. Let's meet the competitors. We will go in order of price. We've got the WeLight SO3, the WeLight SO5, the Ulanzi VL120, the Lano RGB light, the newer 176, the Ambitful light, the G2 Pocket RGB, the Aperture MC, the newer SL90, the Small Rig M160, and the Loom Cube Go. In each of these challenges, only three lights can earn a point. At the end, the points will be tallied up, and the lights with the most points will be awarded. Let's kick things off with our first challenge, brightness. For this first challenge, the lights will be facing off in a real world example. Let's see how they perform while I tell you about today's sponsor. For this example, we'll be lighting the background with each of these LED panels. VidIQ is a tool designed to boost your views. It helps you position your videos to get discovered. I don't know a ton about SEO or the algorithm, and thankfully with this tool, I don't have to. I can simply focus on creating awesome content and vidIQ does the rest. It gives me a checklist, tags, best time to post, strong keywords, and even video ideas. It takes all this information and delivers it in a way that I can easily understand and quickly apply to my videos. I end up spending less time in YouTube studio and more time in my studio getting to do fun light tests like this. So if you want to check it out, you can use the link down in the description below. And make sure to use code creative to try out their boost plan, which is the plan that I use. You'll be able to get 50% off for two months. Seriously, they're the best. I use their tools for every video. With vidIQ, I spend less time optimizing and more time creating. Let's take a look at these results side by side. There are three main lights that are clearly brighter, and that is the Small Rig M160, the Ambitful Light, and the G2 Pocket RGB. These will be the three winners of this first challenge and each one will get a point. But the competition is still early on and there are plenty of chances to win points to come, starting with our next challenge, Battery Life. For this challenge, each light is in CCT mode at 5600 Kelvin and running at 100%. And we are going to see how long the batteries last. This could take a while. We are three hours in and only five lights remain. That's quite impressive, Ben. Yes, indeed it is. Ooh, and spoke too soon, the G2 Pocket RGB is out like a light bulb, followed just after by the WeLight SO3. Man, that little guy put in quite a fight and was in there for a while. You hate to see it. Which leaves us with our final three, the newer 176, the newer SL90, and the Lano Light. Wait, what's that? There's been a penalty. Flag on the play, flag on the play. This just in that the Lano light has been cheating. It has no CCT mode and was running RGB with saturation turned down to make it appear like it was in the competition. Wow, never thought I'd see it. And wait, what's this? Another penalty. The newer 176 was using an external battery? Well, there's no way it could have lost. It could just keep changing out its batteries the whole day which is a great feature of the light, but unfortunately will disqualify it from this test because it has no built-in battery. Wow, that's two disqualifications. So our new top three is the WeLight SO3, the newer SL90, and the G2 on a technicality. Man, the competition is heating up. Let's continue with our next challenge. When it comes to features, all of these lights have RGB mode and scene effects. 
but only some of them are app controllable. So that instantly eliminates five of our lights from this challenge. Of the six remaining, both the Wii Light SO3 and SO5, the Ambitful and the newer SL90 have the most effects by far each one of them boasting over 30 variations of feature effects. But I will have to ding the smaller Wii Light, the SO3, because it can only be controlled by the app. Whereas the other lights are both app controllable and have onboard controls. So that makes the top three winners of this category, the Wii Light SO5, the Ambitful, and the newer SL90. But just because you're the flashiest doesn't mean you're the most accurate. Let's move on to our next challenge, which is color accuracy. Let's start by running all of the lights with full brightness at 5600 Kelvin, and we will lower the exposure on our camera. This way, we can really start to see the true colors come out of the lights. Wow, all is revealed. You can instantly see a color shift in a few of these. Let's move on to our next phase of the challenge. For this test, we will turn off all the lights in the room and use only the LED panel in CCT mode to light the subject. At first, when you're looking at one by itself, it's fine. But when you compare it to another, you'll notice a shift. Sometimes it gets warmer. Other times it shifts green. Other times it shifts magenta. Let's put the top performers side by side. Wow, we can really see a difference here. And what we saw in the first phase of this challenge is holding true. Only these three look the most natural. Let's take a closer look. The newer SL90 is looking very natural. The G2 Pocket RGB is looking pretty natural, just pulling a smidge warm, and the Wii Light SO3 is actually looking pretty natural as well. Those will be our three winners here, and this brings us to the final stage of our challenges. With form factor, there is a variety of factors to consider. Size, button layout, durability, and mounting options. The Wii Light SO3, and the newer 176 are instantly disqualified because they only have one button to operate the lights without the app. The Wii Light SO5, the Lano, and the Ulanzi VL120 are also out because they are made of a cheaper feeling material. Now I like the size and build of the Loom Cube and Small Rig lights, but they do have fewer mounting options than the others. I love how durable the Aperture light is, and it is the only light that is magnetic, but it does also have fewer mounting options. That leaves us with our top three, the G2 Pocket RGB, the Ambitful light, and the newer SL90. Each of these lights have the best mounting options and form factor. The G2 even comes with its own tripod stand. All right, it's time to tally up the points. Let me present to you the winners. The winner of the best performing light is the newer SL90. This light is an all around great option. It is one of the most expensive on the list, but for good reason, it performs very well. Tied for it in first place is what I am awarding the best value light, which is the G2 Pocket RGB. This light is super bright, it's super functional, and it just performs great. If you don't care about app control, this is the light I would recommend. Coming up right behind them with three points is the Ambitful light, which I have awarded the most surprising. If you want app App control and want best value for price, the Ambitful is the way to go. I love the onboard controls and feel of this light, it's very bright and powerful, and the mounting options are very good as well. One honorable mention is the Wii Light SO5, which performed very good. It has a ton of features, it's not quite as bright as the others, but if you want a small portable light to bring with you, you know, that still has all of the flashy effects, this is a really cheap and great option. And the last award is the biggest letdown, which I am awarding to the Loom Cube Go. It just did not work as good as expected, and it's way overpriced compared to the performance of the other lights. But with that being said, my top picks are linked down in the description below. As cool as they are, owning a great video light doesn't really matter if you don't know how to use it well.
If you want to start getting the most out of your light, then I'd love to invite you to check out my course, Learn Video Lighting. This is where I share all of my lighting knowledge to help you level up your content. Or if you want to simply learn how to light up your background well, continue on to this video here. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay creative. Peace.